Welcome back to Watch Later with Leo Vader, an essay series about the overlooked nuggets in gaming I can't stop thinking about. F Shit. Ass. These are just a few of the things I've been saying while playing Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 Plus 2. It's been a bit of a journey getting my feet back under me after so many years away from the series, but the truth is the game isn't that hard. Maybe the competitions will give you trouble if you have difficulty landing big combos, but the individual levels of Tony X Pro Skater 1 and 2 can be completed completely at your own pace. But there's a mode in this re-released package called Speed Run, which injects challenge like I've never felt in a Tony Hawk game. The way it works is instead of a two minute timer counting down, the timer counts up until you've done every goal on the level. So it's all the same goals as before, but suddenly all the that matters is completing them as fast as possible. There are par challenges of around 2 minutes, hard par challenges of around 90 seconds, and of course leaderboards to try and climb. I'm not saying this lightly. This mode is more fun to me than the regular game. Recontextualizing the levels this way has made me fall in love with them all over again. Starting a level in speedrun mode, I need to spend the first few runs just memorizing the location of every collectible and signature trick and starting to plan out my route through them. Once I get the route through every collectible down to 2 minutes, only then do I start worrying about hitting the high scores. In the normal game, you have the luxury of setting aside a whole run to work towards a sick score if you want to. But the only way you'll get up to that score under the speedrun par is by hitting huge combos while maneuvering from objective to objective. In short, beating a speedrun level under par time requires a degree of mastery over the level I have never had to have before. As a kid, I would play through Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 on repeat, beating the single player content over and over again with every skater in the game. And even back then in my prime, if you had told me I'd be able to finish school 2 in under the time of a single 2 minute session, I would have said yeah, no doy, I'm the Tony Hawk god but that would be me lying and I would have actually been very impressed. It's no surprise to some people that I'd love this mode because of my very public love affair with the last few Hitman games. I love the way repeating a level can give you a complete understanding of it and how that improves your performance and abilities in a way that's totally stored in your brain. Especially when you're not failing, you're just completing different parts of it in different ways and that evolves your understanding of it bit by bit. Progression like that is infinitely more satisfying than any skill tree to me. I booted up the downhill jam level because I suspected it'd be a fun challenge in this mode. I figured I could do two runs down the hill in under two minutes, splitting the objectives between the two runs. Now I don't mind a hard game, but I don't have infinite patience for them either. I'll give a Dark Souls boss a solid three tries before I start trying to find the refund option on Steam. But I played downhill jam for nearly an hour straight before I got it down to my goal time. It was frustrating as hell, there are some insanely precise jumps on that level. That fourth valve requires not only an exact angle, but an exact jump height and an exact speed so you don't overshoot it or undershoot it. In a standard run, I could start at the end of the ramp and slowly tiptoe back up to the top, but in speedrun mode you really can't afford to do that. Every time I nailed that jump, the pressure got amped up for me to get the rest of the run right. Finally hitting my goal of under 2 minutes with a solid 15 seconds to spare was exhilarating, and it put me at 39th on the world leaderboard, which is as big of an achievement as anything I've ever done. Of course it doesn't show how many other people are on the leaderboard, so it could be out of 45, but I'm gonna assume it's out of 10 million. I've been enjoying Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 plenty for the nostalgia, the great flow of animations, and some of the best skating in the series, but I didn't really love it until I discovered the speedrun mode. It's made the pretty simple goals of those original games challenging again. Maybe my affection for this stuff is a clue that I should try to get into speedrunning more. At least for games that I can beat in around 2 minutes. Thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe on YouTube and support us on Patreon, and go and watch the official ranking of every Tony Hawk game with me and Blake Hester, it's a super fun discussion of the whole series.